Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now, I have a couple of things I want to show you today, and in case anyone's noticing, we do have somebody's Giga parked by our base. I'm not sure why that is. Um, he's just hanging out though. He belongs to somebody, so he's not going to hurt anything. All right. So in the last episode, we went through the central cave with Rutrine, and we got ourselves the artifact of the Clever. Earlier today, I took that artifact to the Obelisk, and we got ourselves a couple of blueprints. So even though the pursuit is bugged, um, and it doesn't tell you that it's complete, and it doesn't tell you to take the artifact to an Obelisk, if you do take the artifact to an Obelisk anyway, it will still give you loot. So. Um, there is a bug with directions, but the actual chain of events is still possible. So in this case, we got ourselves this Mastercraft Chitin Gauntlet and these Journeyman Chitin Leggings. I only had enough chitin to make one of these at the moment, so I went ahead and made the gauntlets. And I am wearing them right now because they have a ridiculous amount of armor, um, 176. Everything else we're wearing is flak, which is about 100. And these have 176, which is completely amazing. I'm really glad that we did that and that we got these gauntlets because um, they're going to be really useful for what we are planning today, which is we are going to take Al out and we are going to try and tame ourselves a Megalodon. Um, now that might be a bit of a challenge. We have a couple of jellyfish out that way, as you can see. Actually, I probably need to go and make ourselves a saddle here, which I neglected to do. I have everything else we need. Just gonna make sure we have enough hide with us. I don't believe I even have learned the Megalodon saddle. I'm not gonna use the tannery for this one. Um, I don't think it's necessary. Alright, where's the... you know what? We can search for this. There it is. Megalodon saddle. Level 47 is when we learned that one. Um, it will just be a primitive one, but I'm okay with that. I don't plan on keeping the Megalodon forever, mostly because we're going to have to start over when we get to the next series, when the full game releases. Um, Alright, we do make that in our inventory. That's good to know. So where's my hide? Take that back. Alright, we are going to need more hide, more fiber, and some cementing paste. So we'll take the cementing paste more hide and some of the fiber. Craft that up. Dump all the excess resources back because we don't need all of those. There we go. Alright, we have ourselves a Megalodon saddle. Alright, get out this door. Oop, I have so many creatures now, it's hard to navigate. I didn't make this base quite big enough, I think. Um, so we're gonna have to fix that in the next series. Um, hopefully, hopefully if we get the right tames early on, that won't be a big deal. It's just that these behemoth gates are really expensive, so they're a little bit difficult to make. Now we do need to be really careful out here because I do not have scuba gear, and jellyfish are incredibly dangerous. Actually, I think what I need to do, if I'm not mistaken, is I need to turn off that mode real quick so I can render things in at a distance. Whoop. Don't want to go too close to the jellyfish. They're going to come for me, um, but I do have... Oh man, they're really strong. Okay. Swimming away. That, that jellyfish has a lot of health. And we have a lot of creatures on us. Um, a whole bunch, in fact. And there's more jellyfish there. Man. They are all over the beach right here. Um, I really don't like being that close to them. Yeah, you come at me, jellyfish. That's not at all what I wanted. Please don't. If I could change one thing about this game, it would be that auto dismount. It's very frustrating. Just like that. I can't grab the screen and aim minutely. I have to just kind of make these big motions. It's really hard to aim. There we go. That's one. A little higher. Dang it. 
Let me aim instead of dismount, please. Urgh. Now we're gonna have to fight the saber. There we go. I think we accidentally hit that Dimorphodon too, which is never good. We did, we accidentally hit the Dimorphodon. All right, hopefully they circle back around pretty quickly here. Yep, we're doing some damage. This is already a mess of an episode. We're not even in the water yet and things are going terribly wrong. All right, can we please? Can we please hit this? There we go. All right. So now that we're closer, I'm gonna go ahead and fire a couple more arrows into this one. I really, really hate that dismount function. That's gonna be a really big pain. There we go. All right. Can I get back on? Thank you. Um, if we harvest up these, we should get some biotoxin. Excellent. That'll be helpful for taming. Um, and then if we come out here, there are always just a ton of sharks. So let's see what we've got. A level two. We don't need the level two. I'm just going ahead and try to eat that one. I don't want to get too close to those other jellyfish because they will come after me. They're already coming after me. Dang it, jellyfish, man. Maybe we'll swim out of render to look for something. I also don't like how blurry it is underwater here. All right, how's that? That's not too bad. Looks like we have a few manta, lots of fish. I can't tell if those shapes in the distance are fish or sharks. Um, so we have these guys. We have a lot of manta on us. Which is kind of frustrating. Let's see if we can... I can't even see them. I'm too close to the surface. That's a level 19 megalodon. That's actually not bad. kind of want to tame that one. Let's see if we can fight some stuff. It is really hard to aim on a Sarko. That is the downside to all of this. I don't want to hit that level 19, but there's so many other sharks here. Ugh. Nope, I'm hitting the wrong one. Let's hit this one. Alright, I wonder if I can draw them in to where I can actually see them. That would be great. Okay, we're just covered in Manta. We're gonna die if we stay here. We're losing quite a bit of health. Go up shallow end. That is a mess of creatures. Ugh. I wonder, I don't want to go too close to the RG either. It's okay if the manta come here. Can we hit him? Yeah, we got one manta down. All right, that's pretty good. Up. Once again, having a little trouble hitting stuff. And the AoE is not great. Oh, we're gonna die. We're so gonna die. Nope. Okay. That was terrifying. Alright, we may need to heal a little bit. This is not going as I'd hoped it would. Actually, let's force feed him some of this meat. That'll probably heal them a little faster. We are probably going to need a heck of a lot more meat. Oh man, this is not ideal. All right, I may have to go gather a little bit more food for this guy to heal him up. Um, yeah, super frustrating. All right, I will bring you guys back in a little bit when I've cleared out some of this area and hopefully we will have isolated like one megalodon to actually tame. I will see you guys in just a little bit. Okay guys, we are back and there is a level 20 Megalodon here and hopefully, hopefully we can get him if we can just get the Manta out of the way. 
It would be really helpful if I could actually see under the water without hitting the thing we actually want to tame. Manta are such a pain. They really are. Sea pancakes are no good. Alright, where are you? He's like sticking too close. He's much too close to this megalodon and I don't want to hit this megalodon because it is level 20 and I really want to tame this one. There's like nothing else around except this manta and this megalodon. So if I could just... I don't know that it's gonna work. All right, maybe if we go up into the shallow end, the megalodon can't follow, but the manta can. Nope, nope, stop. Don't go forward, go back. Nope. Ugh, the sarcos are so fast, it's hard to get around. All right. Can I go down? There's the megalodon. Where's the pancake? He's right next to him, of course he is. You know what, we may just have to go for it. We can take a couple of hits, not a lot, but a couple. And hopefully, hopefully this does not take too many arrows, as in my experience, Arc Mobile doesn't take a whole lot to tame stuff. Nope, no, 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 don't run, don't run, don't run, and don't die. Uh, can we turn? No, don't dismount. Okay, that's one, two, is he gonna go down? Three, please go down. Please go down before we die, that would be great. And before we drown. Got him. Got him. Up, up, ugh, okay. Sar no, that's... Sarcos are really, really fast. Just, uh... FYI. Can we... There we go. Now we're swimming. Alright. Can we get down here where I can see again? Is he out? He's out. Alright. Perfect. Now, hopefully the manta does not bother us. I don't even know where it went. The further away it stays, the happier I am. Um, okay. So we are gonna hang out... Basically right here. This is really super sketchy. I don't trust any of this. Alright. Um, I'm gonna take all this biotoxin to use too, instead of narcotics, since it spoils. Nope. Can we... Can we not... Please? Thank you. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna hop back on the Sarko because I trust nothing. Gosh, we're too fast. We are way too fast. Please don't. Please don't move, Sarko. I can't even see where the Megalodon is. There we go. Okay. I'm okay on oxygen for a minute here. I have been pumping a few levels into oxygen just to make sure we would have enough for this. So I'm just gonna hang out here and see how long this guy is gonna take to tame. If it is gonna take a long time, I'm gonna have to go get some more meat. Um, so I'm gonna wait and see how much we can get this guy tamed. I'm really excited about taming a megalodon though, because this is gonna make water surfing and like harvesting fish so much better because sarcos are okay but their aoe is not great in this version of the game um so it's really hard to get them and we are freezing to death of course how much are we gonna do 4.4 we are definitely gonna need more meat okay that's okay um hey this works this uh, beached ichthy, little beached dolphin, is going to give me some food. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna slowly make my way down here. Make sure I can see. I don't see any manta coming at me. I do have a pike, so it's not like they can really 
They can do some damage to me, but they probably won't kill me. All right. There we go. Okay. So I am going to hang out up here on shore. Um, and I'll be kind of... Actually, I might hang out here in the water too. I'm just going to be kind of keeping an eye on this guy to make sure that he gets tamed up and that hopefully we don't actually hit him accidentally. Actually, that's something I probably should have checked. Nope. There we go. All right, yeah, we're still good. Okay, so I'm gonna keep an eye on this guy and make sure that he stays out long enough for us to tame him. And I will bring you guys back when he is up. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, this Megalodon is just about to get up here. And for anyone who did not know, on Arc Mobile, you can use your spyglass to keep an eye on your tames from a distance. Um, so you can basically center on whatever taming icon they have, drag down until you can see the creature. Even though I can't actually see the Megalodon, it's focused on him underwater. And then you should be able to watch them from a distance, which is a really handy feature, especially when you're trying to tame in the water and they're actually quite a ways away. Yes, okay. Um, I'm gonna leave this guy here for now. He'll be okay. Look, can we, can we swim down? There we go. All right. So we once again have 12 tames, but now we finally have ourselves a true water mount. Um, can we, there we go, actually get underwater. All right, we have ourselves a shark. Let's see. I want to check out his stats real quick. So health isn't great. Stamina is not great. Food's high. Weight's low. And melee's mid-range. Yep, this is a shark indeed. Um, nothing's all that impressive, but that's okay. I kind of want to get that oil vein, but I'm more interested in going and finding something to eat. Let's see. Head up this way. Can we swim faster, please? There we go. All right, I want to kill a fish. Can we? No, we cannot. And I am freezing to death and I'm going to lose all of my air. So we may have to like, ugh, up towards the surface. There we go. All right, need some air. This is the downside of taming something before you have scuba gear. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and up health um, just because the ocean is a dangerous place and we're probably going to need some health. All right, let's go find something else to fight. There's an ichthy, there's another shark. Maybe we'll fight this other shark real quick. I'm not seeing any jellyfish in the area, so we should be okay. Oh man, this shark has a lot of health compared to us. Look at that. And we have some manta coming in. Oh, that's great. Nope. I don't think we do enough damage for this. Um, okay, we may have to bail here. Can we swim away faster, please? There we go. Oh, I don't like jellyfish. We're gonna swim over here. Up and get some air. All right, now we're out of Sam. And there is a Plessy down there that I really don't want to mess with. Um, I'm definitely not going that far down. Oh, we have an Ichthyosaur. How cute. Oh my gosh. We have all of the bad things right now. I really hope we don't die. I really, really hope we don't die. We might die. I think we're gonna die. Oh my gosh, why? Why does everything always come after us? Um, can we like swim up here and maybe not die? No, we're definitely gonna die. The manta are just everywhere. Great, all that work taming. 
Yep, all that work taming. And it died. Of course it did. Ugh. This game. You know what? Fine. Give me that. I want all of that. You know what? I just want everything. Give me all of that. There's no way, unfortunately, that we can revive a water creature. Um, because all of the obelisks are above ground. So there is just no getting this guy back. Need to harvest him up real quick. So that I can actually move. Um, come here, Manta. I hate you. You're one of the reasons our Megalodon lived and died in one episode. We didn't even get to name him. You too. I don't like you either. The ocean is so dangerous. I hate you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Ugh. Alright. Ugh. Well, I don't think we're actually going to end up taming another Megalodon here um, in the next few episodes, mostly because well, we are starting over um, in just a few days. The release is on Thursday, and this video is coming out on a Monday. So we only have three days left on this game. I am going to restart, even if they keep the servers for the beta players. Um, Mostly because I have a few different things that I want to do with these series. So I'm not going to be keeping this game no matter what. So I hope no one got too attached to any of these dinos. Um, I did go ahead and name the Therizino Tickle because everyone wanted to name it Tickle. And I think that's a pretty good name. Its fingers are, are kind of perfect. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, that's so disappointing. I was sitting there for so long. Granted, Megalodons don't take that long to tame, but it was long enough. And we almost lost the Sarko a couple of times, although we could have revived the Sarko at any point. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and give this guy... You can have all of the meat now. Yeah, I wonder... Okay, so you could take the Megalodon and revive it. We might do that just for fun, because I'm kind of curious... Um, I know that we're not going to be able to keep the Megalodon alive above water. Um, but maybe he'll just be, like, stuck on the platform. That'd be really funny, actually. Let's do that. I have nothing better to do today. Um, now that we've officially uh, tamed and lost a Megalodon in the space of about 30 seconds. Really. How disappointing. That's arc for you. That's how things go. We just got too far out and too many things wanted a piece of us. Alright. So I'm going to take the Sarko back into the base. We're going to grab the RG and we're going to go see if we can't revive the Megalodon at the Green Obelisk. Um, where did I leave the RG? He's over here. Alright. Come on. Nope. Not what I wanted. Luckily you can't hurt your own dinos. Alright, so I'm going to take Billy over to the Green Obelisk, that's the closest one, and we are going to see what happens when we try to revive a water creature on land. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. Okay guys, we are back, and hopefully everyone is ready for this. Um, I'm really curious, I don't think this is going to work at all, but heck if we aren't going to try it. Alright. Hey, it worked! Alright, we revived a Megalodon, and he's dead again. Alright, so this is something they clearly are going to need to work on. Um, oh man, he looks so derpy. That is definitely going to be the thumbnail for this video, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, so rise and fall of Megalodon twice. I love it. This poor Megalodon never even stood a chance. I'm going to call him Ned. It was Ned the Megalodon. He was beautiful while he lasted. Okay, so I think that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. If you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, uh, you can, of course, subscribe. And please remember to hit that like button. It seriously helps me out. You can also follow me on social media. I am on Twitter at The Iguana Games. And I do have a Discord linked below in the description. So, yeah. I will catch you guys in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana.